Now is the moment for Britain to choose its future. On May the 22nd, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak took the country by surprise when he stood here in Downing Street in the pouring rain without an umbrella and announced that there would be an election on July the 4th. Sunak is urging voters to back the Conservative Party, which he leads and which has been in office since 2010 under five different prime ministers. Uh, the left of centre Labour opposition has lost four straight elections, but under its leader Keir Starmer it has had a steady lead in opinion polls for more than a year. This is an election dominated by the cost of living crisis, which has seen mortgage rates soar, uh, the prices for food and energy spike, and has left millions of people in the UK struggling to pay their bills. The Conservative Party, which presided over uh, this cost of living crisis, is arguing that its economic plan is now working and they claim that a Labour government will raise people's taxes. Labour, in contrast, insists that it wouldn't raise personal taxes and says it would invest heavily in infrastructure and green energy and get the economy growing and that would raise more taxes and allow it to invest more in public services. Other major issues include the struggling National Health Service and the high rate of immigration to the UK, which is symbolised by the tens of thousands of people each year who try to reach this country in small boats across the English Channel. The promise to stop the boats has been key to Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's premiership. Uh, he developed a contentious plan to send some asylum seekers on a one-way trip to Rwanda. Uh, that has yet to happen and his failure to live up to that plan may well hurt him at the polls. The Conservative campaign got off to a pretty inauspicious start with that rain-soaked announcement by Sunak, and it hasn't really taken off. Sunak has made a number of unforced errors, uh, most notably leaving commemorations for the 80th anniversary of D-Day in France early. Labour has taken an extremely cautious approach to the campaign. It's often likened uh, to Keir Starmer being like a man carrying a very expensive vase across a highly polished floor and not wanting to drop it. They just want to preserve that lead that they have in opinion polls and get to polling day without messing things up. Uh, there are almost 50 million people eligible to vote in this election. On Thursday, they can go to the polls and elect a lawmaker for their local district. There are 650 seats in total in the House of Commons. Uh, and the party that either gets a majority or can form a coalition to command a majority will form a government. Their leader will become prime minister.